And now I'm going to talk about uh, waxing brushes. So there are two main types, well it's three, but we'll go through the two main ones. That's your compact standard waxing brush, this side here. It's got little finger grooves, ideal for doing skis, hence the width. Then we have a workshop level oval brush, which is also ideal for snowboards, because it's got a bigger surface area and the skis of all widths as well. So with a strap here for more hardcore use, so a little bit more expensive, but exactly the same componentry. And then the third one, the little one just to mention briefly, is the rotate, rotating brush wax um, brushes. These are cool, you, come and they get, you get a bar with it, put it onto an electric drill, and you can literally go zzzz, up and down your ski, all types of hairs available, and you get a very high performance um, workshop, professional workshop level finish, uh, but obviously cost you a lot more money. But the principles are the same. What we're trying to do is open up the structure of the base, you know, scrape the surface wax off to expose the structure, create grooves for the snow to slide down and off. The way we do that is with different types of brushes. So I'll quickly go through best seller or joint best seller nylon. Comes in our starter kit, Holman Cole nylon brush here, best of, best of the batch, I think. Reinforced outer edges now, because brushes do splay out over time, not this one, it lasts a lot longer. You've got nylon hairs, really good all rounder for polishing ski bases and opening the structure up, so that's nylon. Then you have horse hair. Yes, you heard me right, it is horse hair. No horses were injured too much during the making of this brush. So horse hair, softer structure, different depth. If you use a nylon and a horse hair, you end up with different structure depths, ideal for different crystals of snow. And I'm getting a bit geeky now, but if you've got a nylon and a horse hair, use them both. In fact, that's the perfect combo, I think. So for those mortals of us that ski on the mountains for fun and on holiday, that's what you need. A horse hair creates a finer dust when you're brushing, and that's because of the finer structure you're putting in. So that's horse hair. And again, it's available in this square style as well. Then you move up to brass, and you've got this one here, this one here. Different types of brass, you have soft brass, hard brass. Um, brass basically is more aggressive, opens up the structure even more. So if it's very coarse snow, dirty snow, um, choppy conditions and you're racing, for example, or want a performance finish, then you go for brass. And a lot of people have brass brushes. Slightly more uh, uh, recent are steel brushes. You've got a soft steel brush, mid steel brush deep, and then you've pretty much got a wire brush here, which if I push hard enough will cut me. So different steel brushes. They are for aggressive, rapid opening for the structure. You're actually scratching your base up, you're feeding all that wax in. Some people will structure with a steel brush before waxing even, just to, it's almost tearing open the base. And the idea is to get as ma maximum grooves in there, maximum dispersion of the wax for the coarsest ski conditions. So if it's really choppy conditions, really dirty snow and you're racing, that's what a steel brush is for. So a fantastic bit of kit steel brush, but really for, for the gods amongst us. So to summarize brushes, Nylon, great as an all-round brush for polishing and for finishing to add your structure. Horsehair gives you another level of structuring and also as good as the uh, nylon, I reckon, and, and make a perfect family. You've got your brass brushes for those that want a bit more of an elite finish and maybe doing some dry slope racing as well, ideal for that. And then you have your steels, which is for the, the hardcore guys, the racers, and uh, who probably have a team of technicians working for them for the most open finish, which will degrade the uh, longevity of the base in doing it. But racing is about winning, not about how long your skis are going to last. And that is a, a brief summary of ski waxing brushes.